The buttons on this exhibit cause hidden magnets to move up and down near the black liquid. The liquid, called ferrofluid, contains iron oxide particles, which are attracted to the magnets. The spikes are formed by the complex interaction of several forces. The ferrofluid is attracted to the magnetic field, and the magnetic field is attracted to the ferrofluid as they steer each other into concentrated columns. Gravity tries to pull the columns back down, and surface tension in the oil causes each column to pull in on itself, forming the sharp tips. Ferrofluid is a slippery oil that sticks to strong magnets. It can form an amazing airtight seal around a spinning motor shaft. Ferrofluid is also used to cool down the overheated wires that move inside a loudspeaker. Normally, a strong magnet would pull all the iron oxide particles out of the oil, forming a small clump of magnetic dust near the magnet, with a puddle of ordinary oil left over. The iron oxide doesn't get pulled out of ferrofluid thanks to a microscopic soapy chemical. It's a surfactant that's active on the surface between the oil and every magnetic speck. One end of the surfactant molecule grips onto the iron oxide, and the other end grips onto the oil. When they're completely surrounded with surfactant, the particles aren't able to clump together. And each particle has a lot of oil attached, so wherever the iron oxide goes, the oil has to follow. And that's ferrofluid. It takes a lot of physics and chemistry to understand how it works.